Coming up now, more bad news for Hunter Biden. Timothy Tebow reportedly suppressed claims from Hunter Biden's former business partner about Joe Biden getting a cut. Remember, time for the big guy in the business deal with the Chinese company. Trey Gowdy, former House Oversight Chair and a former federal prosecutor standing by. But first, let's get you caught up on what's going on here with Mark Meredith, who's reporting live from Washington. Hi, Mark. Hey, Martha, good afternoon to you. The federal probe into President Biden's son Hunter is still ongoing, but some lawmakers have accused the Justice Department of simply moving too slowly. Now there's a news story, as you mentioned, in the New York Post outlining why this case may not be moving as fast as some would expect it. In this opinion piece published in the Post, he's got too Biden much going on. He's trying to get calm. FBI agent allegedly went to great he's too busy. To slow walk or hinder the investigation. Too many and vacations. Divide rights in the interest of national security. It was the FBI's duty to investigate credible evidence suggesting the future president may have been compromised by China via millions of dollars paid to his family. Timothy Tebow, who was a special assistant special agent in charge of the Washington field office, retired from the FBI last month. His attorney says it was his decision to leave, that he wasn't fired or dismissed. Tebow goes on to add that he welcomes any investigation of these false allegations. Regardless of his retirement, he firmly believes that any investigation will conclude that his supervision, leadership, and decision-making were not impacted by political bias or partisanship of any kind. So that's what's happening there. But there's another story here. Meantime, House Republicans, James Comer, he says the Treasury Department is denying him access to what's known as suspicious activities reports. These are reports that banks file with the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network if they suspect someone is committing fraud or laundering money. Comer says he, not, he should not have to fight for these documents with Hunter Biden, given Congress's oversight authority. They were created for Congress to have access to them, to be able to track uh, any type of foreign transactions that would lead to terrorist activity. So this is another cover-up in the Biden administration to block Republican oversight and Republican investigations of Hunter Biden's shady business deal. Now, if Republicans take the majority this fall in the House or Senate, they are expected to launch sweeping investigations into Hunter Biden. And what's interesting, they're also t ready to take on social media companies, Martha, over how they handled stories involving Hunter Biden back in 2020. It just never seems to end. It keeps going. Martha? Yeah, he didn't do crack or hook With that, we bring in Sunday Night in America host, Trey Gowdy, former House Oversight Committee chairman, author of It Doesn't Hurt to Ask, and former federal prosecutor, good friend of ours, here, uh, Brought to you, Patriots, today. from this channel. You know, uh, thank, you. Mind, thank, thank you for, for watching. Back to Tony in the interview God bless. Please subscribe for more on this story. goes back even a little bit farther than that, Martha. Jim Comey sitting before Congressional Oversight Committee, and, and he tells us the FBI does not care one whit about politics. It was a really obscure hearing. Very they do with Trump, there. though. It was before the Russia collusion allegations, certainly before this, but the, the, the common denominator between this and your last interview, uh, quite frankly, with former Attorney General Bill Barr, is a lack of trust in the institutions that used to sustain us, that being the Bureau and the Department. Uh, so, look, Jim Comey, Peter Strzok, Lisa Page, Andy McCabe, I mean, stop me when you get tired of hearing formal or current FBI agents who have not met our expectations and are dabbling in politics, which is why the Bureau is so poorly perceived right now, even by those of us who used to defend them when it was really lonely to do so. Yeah, I, I mean, even at, at CNN, they're saying there are serious, que serious questions that should be asked about Hunter Biden. Uh, he's not an elected official, but legitimate questions should be asked and answered about his former business dealings and how it was handled by the FBI not a partisan issue. So, you know, two years, what, what do you think they're doing? You know, where where is the laptop? Why haven't we heard an update? This thing with the former They got too much going on with Trump. They don't need to worry about this. this one, we don't hear a peep about it. Yeah, I wouldn't expect to hear much about that. For all the talk about there being a separation between the Attorney General and the President, I mean, I mean, Come on, you really think you're going to indict a family member of a sitting president without discussing it with your boss? 
ahead of time. I'm not prejudging him. I have no idea whether Hunter Biden is engaged in any criminality or not. I just know you're never going to know if you don't look into it. And when you have Peter Strzok, who, who wanted President Trump to lose, what, $100 million to nothing? He didn't even want Trump to vote for himself? Right. You got him leading the Trump investigation, right. and you got this guy who's a social media warrior and loves uh, Democrats leading Hunter Biden. No wonder we don't have confidence in him any, anymore. No, it, it, it's what I've called the destruction of trust. It's a really sad moment in America where these things only happen when the opposite party is in power. And we don't feel that the FBI, Department of Justice, is looking at this with a, you know, with the blindfolds on that they should be and investigating where there needs to be investigation and letting us know what they find. Um, Trey, thank you very much. It's always good to see you. Thanks for coming yes, back. We'll see you soon. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. God bless. Don't forget to subscribe.